Hello, friends. Um, we have something a little different because normally I use ultramarine blue as my base light, and I did not this time. This is Shinhan Professional Oil Color from Korea. It should say somewhere. Is it on the map? Maybe? Coffee brown. Shin yeah, it's from Korea. Um, I got this on Jackson's Oil Paint Supply. Uh, I have never tried this brand before, and it does seem a little bit on the cheap side from a packaging perspective, and I've been wrong on packaging before, but this is Coffee Brown, which is an unusual name for an oil paint color. Um, it has all the usual things. My camera's being a little wonky today also, so if it might get blurry at some point, that's why. The pigments are PR177, PR128, PG7, uh, pretty slow drying time. All that good stuff is on this, uh... On this little thing here. I'm going to have a little mini review of Shinhan oil paint and we are going to compare this coffee brown with burnt umber and because why not raw umber we know this is going to be more orange but whatever I wanted two points of comparison to go with and they are different brands but anyway um we had an earthquake a few days ago and that's a big non sequitur but I hope everyone in the New York New Jersey Connecticut everywhere that everyone could feel that earthquake is okay there is no, it was, it was startling. We're not supposed to get those here. But anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, let's get this show on the road. Let's just get this. Also, these caps are huge. Why are these caps so huge? I don't think the, the size of the tube is actually any different. Oh, that is big, actually. Some of these oil paint brands do these giant opening tubes. And I don't know why, especially for fairly small sized bottles. This is, I think, 50 milliliter. Um, 150 milliliter, I understand a big opening, but why for this? That's just, it feels like you, you have a bigger chance of wasting the paint. Ooh, that is reddish. I can already see, and that came out nice and smooth. No glops of oil. Hmm. You got, just putting a little bit out there. Ooh. Ooh, that is some, ooh, that is smooth, and that has some coverage. That is not even almost transparent. Um, ooh, I'm already impressed with this. I wasn't expecting much from a, from this particular brand. I was, I've been fooled by the packaging before. Rembrandt has packaging that to me looks like it was designed by a five-year-old, but for some reason it is, it's pretty good. So, we've got some Gamblin Titanium White, just... Just the regular. Ooh! That is red! I was... Yeah! That is nice! I like that. That is an unexpected shade. I'm gonna get... That is pinkish red that I was not expecting to get out of that brown. Ooh! This makes me happy. I love it when you get something... Like, out of the tube, it looks brown, then it turns a little red, and that's really good for blending and some really nice effects. Um, Gamblin has this line of paint. Ugh. Garbage noises. Gamblin has a line of paint that they made out of, um, from remnants from a mine. They actually use pigments from an abandoned mine. And one of those is a rust, rust red and a purple one that looks brown, but then it turns purple, and that's why I really like it. And this is kind of like that. And we're, it's not going to be the same, but this is just straight brown. It's not going to tint red at all. But nevertheless, we're going to put it side by side so you can see, like, you have a baseline for your monitor. Like, that is brown brown and also kind of transparent. But yeah, you automatically see how much more red this is, if my camera would focus. For some reason, my camera has decided it doesn't want to function properly, even though I've been using it for a long time. Got a little bit of white. Titanium white. Yeah. There we go. And it's just a completely different thing. Yeah, it's just a completely different... We just wanted a baseline for the monitors. We just wanted to see how it... Hold on, I'm going to get something. This might take a minute, and I'm not editing this. This is all one shot. Let's clean this off. going to 
yeah we are not pausing we are just gonna straight do things happy palette knife okay let's see if i can find the value okay let's Rust Red, and I have no other one of these. Like this. This is one of Gamblin's limited edition Rust Red. We are going to ignore Raw Umber. Goodbye, Raw Umber. We're not doing that anymore. We are going to look at... This is definitely going to be a lighter shade right off the bat. But this is kind of what I was talking about, how... If I can get it open... There we go. <laughs> I don't know where the purple one is, and I'm not going to spend too long with that. But... But Gamblin's Rust Red is made out of out of actual reclaimed iron oxide. They took it out of an abandoned mine. I like that. I like the whole recycling thing. But like... Oh, pull on. Didn't get enough. There we go. I still didn't get enough. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh, no, now we need some white. There we go. I should probably clean this off at some point. I got titanium white on my hands. That's, yeah, that's not even the, yeah. You know what? This is getting a five stars out of five. Six stars out of five even. I am impressed by this. I was not expecting that kind of pinkish red to come out of a color called coffee brown. And I really like that. Um... This is just a burnt umber from Michael Harding for your monitors and uh, Gamblin's reclaimed red to just just for funsies, just for fun. Um, yeah, I I am impressed by Shin, by Shinhan. We got S H I N H A M focus camera, and yeah, so I'll probably buy more Shinhan actually because that was that's really nice. Shinhanart.com. Um. Uh, my camera does not want to work today. <laughs> but yeah. Thank you. I hope this video is not blurry the entire way through. Uh, five out of five stars from Shunan. I like that. Yes. And it became very pinky. Uh, yes. Have a good day. Thank you, everybody. Stay safe from the eclipse and the earthquakes. Goodbye.